Good morning. <laughs> y'all see me looking rough? I'm giving y'all the real me. This is how I go to work. I'm just saying. I have an hour drive and I try to do I try to do as much as possible before I leave the house, but I don't spend time on things that I know that I can do once I get there because I have time. And my hair is it don't take much to put it up and keep it moving. So um I'm I'm driving into work today, y'all. I don't know what today is gonna be like. It's kind of gloomy out here. And um so I don't know if this is what the whole day is gonna be like because I work inside and the section of the building where I work it's it's like literally inside the building so there are no windows or anything I don't work on the um, I don't have a workspace on the exterior of the the building where you actually have a window and you can look outside so I guess they're called inner inner offices or something like that but whatever so I remember um, when and it's no particular time of the year but like at one point it was raining a lot kind of storming or whatever and honey we didn't have any idea it's like you know people would go out for lunch or people that were like coming in you know to start working and stuff like that they would come in saying oh my god it is storming out there and we sitting there like really the only time we know it's storming is if like we hear the thunder you know or the lightning crackling or something like that but other than that you know or if it's raining and the wind is blowing real hard we may hear um because and i don't know how that's even possible but when you walk out of the area where i work it's um it's literally like in the common area where the cafe is excuse me you can see it's like an open floor plan so you can look up so if somebody's on the third floor they can look over like the little balcony or whatever you can talk to them i mean that's ghetto because that's kind of loud and you're disturbing people but you can talk to them so it's open so because of the fact that it's open like that you you literally can look all the way up to the ceiling so if you're in that area of the building you can hear the rain like pounding down on the roof so um that's the only time you know these people are driving fast to go nowhere i'm i'm like you squeezed in between me and this car that's in front of me and now you slamming on your brakes every two seconds i don't understand this i understand you're probably in a hurry but you got about eight cars right here you jumping from lane to lane you jump from behind me, around me, in front of me, and you going just as fast as I am. You can't get anywhere any faster. These are the kinds of people that cause accidents because you you in such a big hurry that you jumping and popping in, you know, like popcorn. You in and out, you know, from in, in front, jumping in front of people behind. You know, you don't, you're not putting on no uh, blinker. Ooh. She almost ran. Y'all oh y'all can't see that. She almost didn't stop. Girl, I ain't got time for that going to work this morning. I do not have time for nobody. Look, oh, I wish y'all could see this fool driving. What is going on? Is he late? Oh, I ain't all the way woke, y'all. I, I, I'm just now. That was my first sip of coffee. I'm not all the way up. I don't have time for all this. These people drive horrible. And you know what? It must have been more people that moved out here. Because where I live is pretty far out. And this traffic has been so bad. And I know people are going back to work and stuff. But um, I don't know if y'all remember yesterday I was telling y'all when I ordered my food for the Mubong. Um, the the Uber, not Uber, the Dasher uh, said that there was an accident right back there. And I, I texted him. We were talking, like, 
you know, casual conversation because he was sitting there. He couldn't go anywhere. And I told him, I said, that, that's the second accident in the last 10 days. And I've lived out here um, August to be three years. I built my house. Uh, I moved in my house uh, August. And August of this year will be three years. But anyway, um, we hadn't had any accidents out here. And now it's like all these people and it's it's been two accidents like bad accidents traffic backed up people can't move um the accident i saw coming home the other day this the person's car like it literally looked like somebody took a, a knife you know how you take a butter knife and you take it running alongside the butter it looked like somebody took a knife and ran alongside of her car and just cut the whole side of her car off i was like good good god what kind of accident was that where you got <clears throat> the side of your car missing but it was i was like omg but yeah so anyway um more than likely because this phone is gonna get uh full i don't know how much i'm gonna be able to put on here but i have my cell phone so i just have to film with my cell phone if it gets full but i did empty it oh guys i have so much footage for me <laughs> yes i'm so tired i'm like oh my god I, and you know people are not lying when they say you know vlogging is a lot of work because you're capturing all this footage but you don't necessarily use all the footage you know you're picking and choosing like exactly what um, you want to go in, the, in your video but you're still filming you're still filming and so like the filming part of it um, is a lot but the editing and everything else, that's a lot too. Because you have to make sure you cut it at the right spot and all that stuff. But yeah, so it, man, I, I edited two blogs. And it it took me, um, I think one, I didn't even get finished editing it until yesterday. But it, it took me some hours. So... I'm gonna have to start tracking like my time to see how long it takes me to edit a video and all that stuff. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down while I'm on the road. I don't want to be not that y'all are distracting me, but I like to be able to pay attention because y'all told y'all these people are crazy driving all nutty and whatnot. Enjoy my coffee, listen to the radio, and drive in. So I see y'all. Ready to go home. OMG. I I went live uh for lunch today. I'm tired. Oh good lord. I know I am ready to go to sleep. So I was so um happy to wake up this morning and see that I had a uh Y'all excuse my hand. I was trying to fix the phone. See that I had an order. And it was a nice little order, too. She ordered all butters. I was like, well, thank you. Thank you. But yeah, it's Friday. I'm headed home. I gotta turn. I gotta turn around and come back uh Monday. But for today. I'm headed home, and oh, I was about to say, I ain't going to do nothing but pull off my clothes and get to bed, but you know what? I can't do that, because I got a video that I edited, and I uploaded it, but I didn't finish putting, like, the details and stuff in the description box, so I have it, I don't have it scheduled, I have it listed as private, so I got to at least do that, and then that'll that'll be for monday and then what i can do um because i have the pop-up event on saturday so what i can do oh and then we're going out saturday night okay so then that means sunday i'm gonna have to edit my video 
edit my vlog from yesterday to go up for Wednesday. And then this will go up Friday. I'm tired. She tired, y'all. So, yeah. But anyway, I'm heading home. I just wanted to check in. Check in with y'all. And, um... I don't know if I'll be back, but um, I'll just I'll just assume if nothing else that I'll come back and and uh, sign out. But yeah, I went to work. Uh, I'm so bloated right now. Oh my gosh! I did drink a juice today. Um, I drank the juice, and then I had the leftover um, wings and fried rice from my mukbang for lunch. I just had my late afternoon snack. Um, I have to get a snack between 3.30 and 4.15 because I get off at five and it takes me an hour to get home. And I would have had lunch between 12 and one o'clock. And if I don't eat a snack about 3.30, between 3.30 and 4.15, I'm starving when I get home. So that's the little trick that I uh, figured out for myself. So today, and this is kind of what I've been doing too. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. Just trying to make sure this phone is right. Um, today, uh, what I had was some carrots, sweet bell pepper, um, the Persian cucumbers with my Chipotle ranch. That's my favorite go-to because I really like the sweetness. The sweet bell peppers, I get the ones that are probably about like this big. And they have the red ones, the yellow ones, and the orange ones. And what I do is I take and I cut them up into like little strips. And dip them in the Chipotle ranch and eat them. And I get the, usually get, I either get the carrot sticks or I get the baby carrots and I eat those and then of course the Persian cucumbers aren't that big so I get those wash them off real good and then I take the cucumbers and I, I cut them the long way so I cut it in half the long way and then I cut that half and half the long way so I have like these four pieces that are the, the full size of the Persian cucumbers and I eat those with the Chipotle ranch so that's what I had today. And then, like I said, I had the juice that I made. Um, but I feel so heavy and bloated. And I know, TMI, y'all, this is just a little warning. Um, I haven't really, you know, went to the bathroom. And so, I have to, I have to look and see, like, how long it's been. Because sometimes what happens, my body is so weird since I had my surgery. And sometimes what happens is I get so distracted by everything that I have to, you know, deal with as far as trying to make sure I get enough calories, trying to make sure I take, uh, get enough nutrients, trying to make sure I take my medicine, you know, all that kind of stuff to, and trying to make sure I get enough water. Um, and so sometimes what happens is I lose track of um, my bathroom habits. And I remember one time, it was like two and a half weeks before I realized, and I was feeling bad, y'all. I was feeling so bad. I was just, I, I couldn't hardly eat nothing because I just, I just was just so uncomfortable and I couldn't figure out what the heck was going on. And the stupid thing is by day, by, um, let me put my shades on so I can lift that thing back up. By day three of, maybe by day two of me feeling like that, I really should, it should have registered that it was because I hadn't gone to the restroom. So, um, but anyway, yeah, it was like two and a half weeks. And I just felt so, like, just bloated and uncomfortable. And I couldn't enjoy my food because it's like after a few bites, I was just completely full. Oh, excuse me. And so that's kind of how I'm starting to feel now. Like when I was trying to do that mukbang, I was like, why the heck am I getting... I know that I can't really eat a lot, but I'm like, why am I getting so full so fast? And that was like the first indication to me that I, I probably need to like 
look back and see when the last time I was actually able to go. Um, Cause it's not a good feeling at all. It is a horrible feeling. And um, my husband, when he has a problem like that, he can take that citrate, you know, that it tastes like soda. Um, you know, you buy it in a bottle or whatever, that magnesium citrate. But I can't take that because it's carbonated. And so I can't do carbonated beverages. I could, but I wouldn't, I would be upset because when I drink stuff carbonated, it's like the bubbles get trapped in my stomach and the discomfort is so bad. I'm talking about, I have gas pains all up, like from the, from my waist, all up my back. And it's not just being sitting there in uncomfortable feeling like maybe you need to pass gas or maybe you need to burp. I'm talking about it is piercing agony because the gas is trapped and you know it just it is so extremely painful so i still clear carbonated um beverages because i wanted a soda so bad like i hadn't had soda in a really long time and i was like you know what i'm just gonna go ahead and just drink me a soda and i'm just gonna take me a gas sex and i'm gonna deal with it and blah 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 and that was the stupidest thing I could have ever done because the gas X, it only helped like a small, teeny little bit. Um, the soda was good going down, but baby, she, I, you talking about for three solid days, I was in pain. And then all of a sudden, I was actually able to pass it. And when I was able to pass it, I was fine. But that's, that's just stupid to me because if you know that you're going to be in pain like that and it's not like you know because somebody told you, it's like you know because you didn't experience it. Why would you do that? So that's kind of, you know, where I am with that. I can't, taking this, the magnesium citrate would be ideal, but not for me because it has, it's carbonated and, you know, here you are trying to remedy one issue, but you're creating another issue. In the process so I can't do the magnesium citrate and then used to be back in the day like me and my husband because like we all have uh, um, lactose intolerance and dairy you know have us jacked up and have us with the bubble guts but we feel better afterwards so what we used to do is we used to get ice cream or we would like make a milkshake or we would get you know something that had dairy in it and um we just enjoy it and then just i wasn't in no pain with the dairy and it but it did move me but my thing is now even i'm i don't want to do that because most of what i would do would be sugar filled and i noticed that like with my surgery now when i consume things that are like really high in sugar like say for example if i was to get a um ice cream sundae for example uh, it will be really difficult because the sugar will give me such a bad headache that it wouldn't be worth it it's just like you know why would you uh, you would do all of that to be walking around it with a with a headache so you know my options are limited you know taking a stool softener and all that kind of stuff is pointless because it takes time for that stuff to work um so i don't really know what's gonna help but i have to figure it out because i don't want to be like just doing stuff to my body and then in order for me to get some relief i'm caught i'm creating another problem so i have to um try to figure out what's going on and it's and you know what um I was really, really, really concerned when they had to put me, you know, because I had to have a blood transfusion because my iron was so low, and they put, you know, started me on iron, but I don't take fear sulfate. Fear sulfate, I mean, creates a, a, a level of constipation in my body that I had headaches. It was so bad. And so I asked the pharmacist, I was like, you know, they want me to start taking this iron, but... I mean, this is an issue for me. I can't be, you know, doing this. I know I need it, but I can't be doing this because 
I, you know, I don't want to be walking around here with migraines because I, you know, I'm constipated. And so he was like, oh, well, instead of doing ferrous, sulf ferrous sulfate, you can do ferrous gluconate and that does not cause constipation. I was like, what? Oh, yes. So that's what I've been taking is the ferrous gluconate instead of the ferrous sulfate. And I, I haven't had any um, issues with that. So my thing is, I don't know why sometimes everything is perfectly fine and then all of a sudden over, you know, a period of days or so, it's just not. And it could be, you know, I may not be getting enough water. It could be so many things, but the thing of it is, I can't eat a lot and I can't drink a lot. And so I used to, I was like, before the pandemic, I was eating, um, like sucking on the ice and stuff because it was a way for me to stay hydrated. And it was something that my nutritionist recommended um, because I would have to choose between eating and drinking. And so um, by me doing that, I didn't have to make that choice because I could actually, you know, eat and then if I, you know, felt thirsty or whatever, I could just take and put ice cubes in my mouth and just kind of suck on the ice. So that was helping me to get my liquids and stuff in. Well, I, since uh, we haven't really been going into, because the, the ice that I like is like the pebble ice, the ice like you get from Sonic. So, um, I don't have that at home and, um, uh, I was buying it, but the way that my family go through ice, it's like I, I, I would have to constantly buy ice like every couple days, and that's just crazy. So I don't know how I got out of eating, you know, eating, sucking on and eating ice the way that I was, but I mean, it's not that I don't be thirsty. And even with that being the case, even if I'm not, like if I haven't eaten, Cause sometimes what I'll do is I'll wait to eat and then just drink, you know, a cold bottle of water. But baby, I'll be so thirsty. I have to remind myself not to like chug it cause I'll take it and just turn it up and it'd be so good going down. But what'll happen is it is so cold that it would shock my stomach and cause my stomach to start uh, not seizing, but it's like almost contracting you know because it's so cold and then then i'm sitting there in pain because it hurts so i'm like oh you know i can't wait for losing good gracious in life and then i get jealous because i see my husband doing the same thing he'll take a, a, a full 16.9 ounce bottle of water I, I got ice on it and everything and he'll turn it up and just take it to the head and I'll be sitting there jealous because I'm like, Dad, I'm that thirsty too. But if I do that, I'm going to be on the floor writhing in pain. So I'm like, oh, good Lord. So, yeah, I have to take, I can take big gulps and then take, you know, take big gulps, swallow it, wait a few seconds. I could do that um, because it's not going down all at once so fast. But I'll be thirsty. She be thirsty. She be thirsty. <laughs> Anywho, I'm about to do this ride home. Traffic seems like it's moving okay. Um, but I still got to get there. I don't know what they're going to do for dinner. I made a big old thing of soup, which I think I'm going to have to put in the freezer. And I did do some chicken alfredo, but I never did do the pasta. And nobody seems to want to do the pasta. Everybody waiting on me to boil the friggin' pasta so that they can have the chicken alfredo. But I'm almost feeling like I need to put that in the freezer, too, because I don't want it to go bad. And my thing is, you know, they can, um, they can do the chicken alfredo, you know, take it and defrost it later and do it another day as well as the soup. But... I'll see when I get home because sometimes I say that and then I get there and be like, oh, they done put a big old dent in this and it's, it's, it ain't nothing to freeze. So I'll check it when I get home because I also I have food that 
you know, I bought these portobello mushrooms because I wanted to do open face portobello mushroom burgers and basically uh, my husband, you know, wasn't taking uh, that stuff for lunch and then he wasn't coming right home from work and by the time he get home, he done already grabbed something to eat. And so I'm, I was telling them this morning, I said, we didn't, I done got all of this stuff to meal prep and you not taking it for lunch and you not home to, for me to cook it for dinner. So what are we doing here? Cause this food is going to be done went bad. So yeah, we have to figure it out, but I did juice. I juiced enough to fill 10 16 ounce glass jars and I took one of the one of mine I gave him five I took five he drank one last night because he got in so late he didn't want to eat anything um, and then he took one for work today so you know however he figure out what he doing I guess is how he do it I thought he was gonna wait and just start taking it um, like take one today and you know whatever but I always feel better I feel like I have more energy and everything when I um when I juice even if I just drink one a day I feel good so and I remember to get the beets because the last couple times I juice I kept forgetting to get the beets and I was like oh crap because the beets have is high in iron and so you know I'm hoping that if I incorporate like juicing into my diet at least you know one or two days out of the week that you know eventually when I go back to the doctor for my checkup they check my iron and they'll be able to take me off the iron so y'all fingers crossed oh and I did add um, some spinach I added a whole bag of spinach I don't like juicing spinach I don't like juicing leafy greens at all not that they taste bad but the process is horrid it's like trying to cram all that stuff in that tube for it to go down into the juicer is just ridiculous it's like i don't know it, it is a difficult process so maybe what i'll do is instead of juicing it i'll blend it and then maybe i will pour it through the juice either pour it through the juicer or pour it through a strainer to add to the juice but either way if I blend it, it's going to blend everything and, and, you know, it's going to create pulp. So I just need the juice. I don't need the, I don't want the, uh -huh. yeah, no. Yeah, so maybe that's what I'll do. So it'll, it'll make it an easier process is blend it and then strain it. What y'all think about that? Leave me a comment below if you think that'll work. Anyway, I'm in this piece. We trying to get home. I'll check in with y'all later. All right, y'all. So <laughs> I just made it home. I decided because I am tired. I'm not going to worry about editing anything. I promise everything will be taken care of on Sunday. Get everything edited, uploaded, whatever. I still have to uh, transfer this footage over to my camera uh, for today. So I just have a lot to do. I'm just going to do it all because I have I already have a video uh, scheduled for Monday. I just have to edit the uh, description box. So it's already on it's already uploaded i just have to edit the description box and uh schedule it for monday and then i have two other today and another vlog i have to edit and get scheduled so anyway i'm tired i'm gonna pull my clothes off i think probably soak in the tub um but that's gonna do it for me i appreciate y'all hanging with me today love y'all so so much um, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel. Please do so. And also, please check out my membership. Um, it's definitely worth it. Uh, I am trying to come back stronger, come back more often alive. I just have a lot going on. So I'm trying to at least, if nothing else, upload content. Um, but y'all know we don't get out of here without saying love yourself, love somebody else. And until next time, y'all take care. Bye.